It is now time to concentrate on the landing. Having completed the second landing newel base, you can fit the base to the wall with glue and screws. Then, having screwed the handrail bracket to the newel post, it can be glued and screwed into position. Before locating the base rail to the floor, an angled cut needs to be made at one end. Use an off cut to get the right width. Make sure the two rails meet at right angles and mark the main rail on the outside edge. Continue this line right round. Taking your off cut again, draw a line along the inside edge. Join the corners and you then have the angle at which to cut the two base rails so that they fit snugly together. Now for the handrail turn. Place it onto the base rail, making sure that the grooves line up. Where your base is the same width as your newel post, you can find the cutting line by marking the turn where it meets the base. A template is provided to give you the drilling mark for the bolt. It's worth taking time to drill a straight and accurate hole. Insert the bolt using the nut until it will go no further. These bolts and fittings will help make the job easier. Remove the nut when the bolt is in as far as it will go. After the landing handrail bracket is screwed onto the other side of the turn, slot it into place to work out the length for cutting the handrail. With the handrail cut, fit the fixing bolt. Measure up a central point 30 millimeters from the end to be fixed. Then drill an access hole to a depth of 23 millimeters. For the best results, you can use a Forstner bit also known as a hinge cutter and hole saw, which is available from most DIY stores. Using the template again to find the mark, drill a hole in the end of the handrail for the bolt. Then put the turn in place with glue. And use the access hole to insert the bolt. The handrail is ready to be fixed in place.
your Richard Burbage staircase is beginning to take shape. The next stage is to fit the spindles. Work out the angle at which to cut the spindles using the adjustable bevel. Then, holding the spindle against the handrail, mark it for length, taking care to allow extra for the groove along the handrail and the base rail so that it fits firmly in place. Mark the angle off at both ends of the spindle and square off the line. Having cut the spindle, check that it fits and that it rests in a vertical position. The spindles on the landing can be measured in a similar way. Next, the fillets. The fillets on the stairs need not be cut except for those directly next to the newel posts, where it is necessary to cut the fillets down by 15 millimeters to conform with building regulations. For the landing, the fillets are cut to maximum length of 80 millimeters. Once everything has been cut, apply glue to the base rail and handrail and pin the first fillet in place. Chisel out a groove where the fillet will cover a bracket for a firm fit. The spindles are held in place by the fillets and glue. You can continue in a similar fashion up the stairs and along the landing. All that's left of the installation are a few finishing touches. Cover the bolt holes with the cover plates provided. And fit the newel cap you have chosen to the newel posts. Once your balustrading has been installed, it must be finished to protect and enhance its appearance. Popular finishes include paint, stains, varnishes and paint effects. Preparation is the key to successful finishing. So, before applying the finish of your choice, always fill any nail holes and sand to remove any knocks or scratches caused during installation. Seal knots on surfaces to be painted and apply primer. Two coats of undercoat and one coat of gloss. Clear, matte, gloss and coloured varnishes provide a durable, heat and water resistant surface. For best results, always remove all dust after sanding with a damp cloth soaked in white spirit before applying the first coat of varnish. Before fitting metal balusters, you can spray them using primer and the top coat of your choice to provide a different finish from that supplied. For a metallic finish, simply brush with two coats of metallic paint. Now your Richard Burbage staircase is complete. A beautiful, professional looking staircase, but for a fraction of the cost. And all easier than you think. Now that you've seen the quality of your Richard Burbage staircase balustrading, why not consider some of the other ranges available to enhance your home? Richard Burbage offers a wide range of quality decking, flooring and mouldings manufactured with an attention to detail and to the same high standards as your new staircase balustrading.